Hi, hello everybody, how you doing? Uh, in this video, I will just try to create a Simulink block model by using command lines. So here we have a couple of functions that are used to draw these uh, block diagrams in Simulink. Let's get started. So here's my new system and the new system will be defined with the name of fill name. So I'm going to copy it and paste it over here. So we have two options. We can run this code directly by just praying, uh, pressing F5 or just do it step by step. But for here uh, demonstration, I will execute this step by step. So here's my new block is just a uh, new file name is uh, defined. So I'm going to open it in next step. Control V and enter. And here you can see a new model is created with the name of fill name. Now next step is to add a block which is a step block into this fill name model. Just copy and paste over here. So what is this command gonna do? This command will go to the simulink. Then it will go to the sources which are here and then gonna pick the step function which is here and put it with the name of step one to the fill name which is over here. Next step is to add another block which is a transfer function for this it's in simulink continuous transfer function and uh, fill name and it will say with the name of syst1 which is system1 control c and control v so here's my new uh, transfer function block next you to set the parameters to change the position of uh, step functions so here's the position is changed next thing is to change the properties or the parameters of this block which is a transfer function block so here is my denominator and here is my denominator i can change both of these values by this command set parameters so what's going to happen the denominator is changed from s squared plus 2s plus 5 and same thing will be done with denominator nader. so here's the number is changed next thing to add scope so just copy this and paste it over here so yeah, you can see here's my scope Next thing you, you have to you can change the position of this scope as well. So here's my scope. Next thing is I'm doing I'm just trying a line to draw a line. A function is used which is called add line. And add line add line to file name syst1 to scope one. So what does this mean? That the uh, this transfer function a line is drawn from this transfer function to scope. So here's line drawn. Next, I will draw a line from uh, step one to system one. From step one to system one. So here it is. So my just a uh, model is drawn in uh, similar link. Next, you save the system with the name of fig one. So you can do it or you can not. Well, the thing is that if you want to know more about the commands, you can just click here and plus F one. So here you can see that there are its description is uses and also some other commands like uh, that you can use to drop a simulic model by uh, command line so here is delete block replace block and if you want to replace a block let's say a, a step with a sentence hello function then you can use this command by the name of the system old block which is step and new block will be will maybe assign a block so sometimes you have to do this uh, by just pressing F5 so here you go all the things will be drawn at the same time sometimes in uh, modeling or simulation you have to uh, just uh, give the input from the command line to the simulink so uh, these commands are very useful and have a good day take care bye